The K Jazz Show Sundays on Kofifi FM 97.2. Our guest this Sunday is a South African award-winning jazz vocalist and composer. Gabi Mutuga is not a stranger to the scene as she often collaborates with Dumima Horosi on the duo album Sanctum Sanctorium and her debut project Tafiti, Goddess of Creation, which was in fact nominated for a 2019 South African Music Award for Best Alternative Album. Now, Gabi has also been selected as part of the 2022 cohort of the Mutual Mentorship for Musicians program, which is a platform created to empower female musicians over the world through radical model of mentorship and musical collaborative commissions. But it was in 2021 when Gabby was commissioned, I suppose, you know, to produce five string quartet compositions under the project, The Sabbath. And she joins us this Sunday, you know, to introduce the project. And we also will be sharing some of these compositions throughout the hour. Gabby, good morning and welcome to Coffee FM. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you to your listeners. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Now, The Sabbath is a series of compositions written for string quartet. Now, and veteran mm-hmm. jazz writer Gwen Ansel writes, not only is this some of the most interesting music I've ever heard this year, it is also some of the most strikingly beautiful Unquote. Tell us about you know the, this project. How did this project come about? Um, well, yeah, Else Gwen was extremely generous uh, <laughs> with her review of um, of of the Sabbath, and she got to see it at the National Arts Festival. This is yeah, um, yeah this is where the review came from. But um, the project came by way of. The, the passing of my father so it it's really trying to honor his memory it's my attempt of trying to honor his memory so it becomes a very reflective work for me um i mean the title itself the sabbath is borrowed from the biblical idea of the sabbath day you know uh, which is known to be the day you know god rested after having completed creation yeah uh, so it marks uh, the moment after like a significant event, right? And this work was, um, it represented a contribution and a dialogue to that moment, that reflective moment, that moment of rest. A very exciting and very interesting conversation piece, I must say. You know, when I took a listen as I was getting ready for our interview, there's elements that I picked up, you know, that, you know, this isn't your first string quartet project. And your mm-hmm. album, Tafiti, features some of this style of composition. So I wanted to talk about your sound. And how do we define what Gabby sounds like? Well, um, you know, to quote the great Nina Simone, yeah. <laughs> an artist's work is the reflection of the times, right? Yeah. So, yeah, as an artist, um, I'm always trying to be in conversation with now, you know, Um and it seems to me that our realities as black people are very entangled with like the traditions of the West, right? Yeah. And the strings for me represents that idea. So then these compositions explore like um, how these borrowed sounds or even instruments like misshape or reshape our ideas. Um, and this is a constant, like I've heard this and, and you know, being being a jazz musician, um, this is always going through my mind, right? Yeah. How the West is ever present and like nothing is safe, you know, not even our music. So this sound for me has, has been a representation and also like an exploration of this idea, like how, why are we always in dialogue with the, with the West? And what does that mean? How does that shape our conversations? And what ideas formulate from those conversations? It was it was in 2015, you know, when you were commissioned to co-compose music for vocals, cello, piano, drums, and this was during a Swiss artist residency program. Would you say mm-hmm. that this was your initial inspiration, you know, that drew you, you know, to this kind of composition style and these narratives? Yeah, definitely. That was um that was quite a peak moment for me. Um, and that sound, I guess, piqued my interest because it was a combination of uh, piano, drums, uh, vocals, 
double bass and of course the cello you know so i was very interested in like the layers of sound and the cello and and the cello and what it was doing to you know like to this backdrop this jazz backdrop yeah. right like this interference of this of this frequency um was very interesting for me and i wanted to explore it a little bit more stand be here life is unbeknown to me set me free whisk me away from this land I can't stand be FM, we are in conversation with Gabby Muduwa. is talking about The Sabbath, the project, the upcoming album that uh, she has uh, created. It is a string 
Quartet Project. And she's sharing this with us on uh, this Sunday here on Coffee FM 97.2. Now, speaking of residency, you know, Gabby, you were selected as an artist in residence at the Soweto Theatre as a music facilitator and educator to cultivate concepts, you know, that would assist in developing the Soweto Theatre. Now, let's talk about that experience and how that has mm-hmm. shaped your vision as a creator and as a musician? Oh, yeah. Um, It's been quite exciting to be an educator and a facilitator. And I was so honored um, that Soweto Theatre, yeah, got, (laughs) you know, got me to be um, the first artist in residence. Um, And it was quite a learning curve. But, you know, as a facilitator, like, well, firstly, I had to Mm -hmm. be very well-versed in the, the, in like the curriculum or in what the students were already busy with currently. And then I had to find a way for my curriculum or for my intervention to kind of adapt to what they were already doing and to be of use to them um, in, you know, in either their technique or the instrument or any other subject that they were busy with at that time. And, you know, what I've discovered as a facilitator is that like our education lacks this ability to adapt right yeah. so most information is um that the students get is really not geared to to assist them with what they need at where they are at that moment um and they find it very difficult i think to locate the use of information yeah to to you know to their environment or to whatever it is that they're busy with. So I found this also, I found this to be quite intriguing. And I think this is what was my takeaway from being a facilitator and being an educator. And it's something that I've tried to also interrogate my music and my music process. Yeah. Um, Asking myself, you know, like what use does this music have and where can I locate it? Yeah. you know within my life um so it's definitely made me a lot more aware of um yeah of of creating music that that resonates with my community because also the sabbath like there's a lot of references to like gospel music um yeah church music so i'm kind of trying to be in conversation with you know my surrounding where i find myself so yeah I, this was definitely the takeaway um of being an educator at at the Soweto theater let's talk about the process of creating the sabbath now you know and who are some of the artists that worked with you on this new offering um it was the band from my uh, debut album uh, Tefiti, and uh, which are um, Temkosi Mavimbelo is on the bass, mm. uh, Dise Toma Shishi is on viola, Gabelo Monateb is on violin, uh, Stella Mchale is on second violin, Dali Wonga Tsangela is on cello. And for the Sabbath, um, I've decided to invite Robin Fassi on trumpet mm. and Tabang Tabane on malombo drums. So it's going to be very interesting, you know, the combination of the different textures. Yeah, um, yeah the, the music is, is really quite interesting. And I think for me, it's really, really beautiful. And I'm, I'm so looking forward to presenting it to, to the world. <laughs>
On the 23rd of March, you are staging this amazing offering at the Untitled Basement in uh, in Bramfontein. So what can we look forward to, you know, Gabby, in terms of this representation now of this project and, and, and you and these wonderful musicians coming together? Yeah, um, it's going to be... It's going to be a really beautiful evening. I think yeah. we can look forward to, you know, hearing some very interesting music, <laughs> uh, interesting combination of sounds, interesting textures, and some familiar sounds and some not so familiar sounds. Yeah. Um, but all in all, I think the project, um, you know, really tries to just be like I say, you know, be in conversation with the now. Um, and I think that also I think I'd be remiss if I didn't mention that, of course, March is also Human Rights Month. Yeah. Um, and, of course, the, you know, the commemoration of uh, the Sharpeville Massacre on the 21st of, of March 1960, which was, um, you know, the day that we commemorate um, the loss and and just thinking about the Sabbath, and like I mentioned, it is it really was by way of my father's passing. Yeah. And this moment also, I hope that it also you know encompasses all that we have, all that we have lost as you know Black South Africans, and um, and try to I think point towards some kind of restorative moment in the performances and and through I guess this the offering of this music. And if you've just joined us, we are in conversation. Her name is uh, Gabby Mutuba, and she's got a show that she calls a Sabbath that's happening at the Untitled Basement that is on the 23rd of March. And uh, we will be out there, you know, spending time within this new offering and and also sharing, you know, with, with her some of the, the moments of creation, I guess, and and, and celebrating, you know, with, with her as she gives birth to this brand new offering. How did we get, you know, to be a part of this event now? Um, you know. Yes. Um, tickets will be available on Quicket. Um, already you can just uh, look for uh, Gabi Muduba presents the Sabbath, and I think it'll come up on the uh, Quicket link. Um, and also, I mean, it's at 7 p.m., and I'm going to start my set at the round of this day. And like I say, on quick it and also i mean if you're looking for more information just go onto my socials yeah uh, i'm very active on instagram at um, gabi underscore muduba and yeah you can find all the information and all the links in my bio etc etc absolutely and before you know as we wrap up and before we let you go you know in the age now gabi of digital music we often want to know will we will we get physical copies of this project and and these are also people that want to come out to the events and hopefully as they are at the events find physical copies of your previous projects as well will we have a table where we can get all of these when we come see you on the 23rd um well the sabbath is still a work in progress so yeah. this this project is not yet complete you know i'm like <laughs> i'm asking people to be part of the process of making this yeah. project right yeah um i'm very right now i'm very dependent upon the response i get and um, kind of where, yeah, where people are feeling this project going, and then it'll take shape according to that. Yeah. Um, but yes, like you say, in this age of the digital market, um, I'm hoping to release it on vinyl yeah. and CD, of course. And this will probably be around this time next year. Yeah. Uh, that will, which will be the official release of the project. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Gabby, for joining us this Sunday. You know, this conversation with you and I can go on forever, but uh, I look forward to to seeing it all come alive on the 23rd of March. That is uh, in a couple of weeks' time. It's going to be out at the Untitled Basement that is in Bramfontein. And uh, make sure you go to Quicket and get your tickets there. Just literally search Gabby Mutua Presents the Sabbath, and uh, there you will be. And, of course, see you at the untitled basement when we all get together and we sit at the feet of Gabby Mutuba as she shares her brand new offering simply called the Sabbath. Gabby, thank you so much for joining us this Sunday. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. Thank it you. It is always our pleasure. Miss Gabby Mutuba on the KJS show.